Um, I think offensively we can just do a little bit better job uh, getting everyone to touch. You know, it, it, the, and I'm guilty as a, of it more than anyone, but when we have those possessions that die after the one guy touches his stick, it's really deflating, especially when our defense goes out and grinds and gets a good turnover for us or gets a good stop for us. So I think our focus is to just spread everybody out, get everyone some touches, get hard through the middle, and just... Uh, you know, continue to shoot the ball because I think we probably let up on a few opportunities where we could have shot the ball tonight, and and that happens. It's a quick turnaround. How do you reset for tomorrow's game? Yeah, it's uh, it's always a learning experience. Um, you know, we're gonna get uh, on the floor, get a stretch, get in the training room, get a bike, uh, make sure we're getting lots of water and stuff. Watch some film tonight, which will be good for us. Watch some film tomorrow, and. Uh, you know, try and turn this page here and, you know, kind of flip the script on how our season's been going so far. Say it's a learning experience. What what can you take from this one, or do you just file this one away? I don't think you ever really want to file things away. I think you want to take – there's always takeaways that you can have from these losses. Um, it's unfortunate that they're kind of stacking up a little bit right now, but, you know, I thought uh, Delve stood on his head once again. Uh, you know, I thought Tanner Cook played really well tonight. You know, Shane Simpson ran the ball up the floor really well. Uh, Liam and Eli were stupendous on our back end, putting their, guy, putting their guys down on the ground. So that's, those are the things that we preach. That's roughneck ball. And I think if we can have, you know, more than eight guys buying into that, then that's when we're going to turn the page here and get a little bit more successful. The posts were pretty big tonight. I mean, you hit, what, 12, 13, 14? Uh, sometimes that's how the, uh, the, it goes, you know. Uh, credit to Dunks, uh, Dunkerley, you know, he was taking it away and, you know, played the scout pretty well for him. I thought that, you know, he might have got lucky a few times more than uh, we're used to. And, you know, that stuff happens. You got to not let it frustrate you and, you know, keep shooting the ball. And I think that's why it goes back to my other point of those guys maybe hesitating because they're hitting those posts. Like, you're here for a reason. You're an offensive guy for a reason to shoot the ball, right? So continue to do that. Lots of season left, but do you, are you feeling added pressure because of the new unified standings and, and your place in them? Yeah, every game means a little bit more now. You know, if, if we tie up with some of these teams that, you know, they have wins over us, that's a tiebreaker. So you always want to try and win these single-hand games. Um, you know, the first third of our season is now behind us, and I think we're not in a spot that we really wanted to be in. But I think this is a really good opportunity for us to fit, focus on this next kind of second third of our, of our season here, this next six games. We've got a lot more home games. We played a lot on the road, you know, and we love playing at home. Um, and the, the crowd's always good for us. I think tonight was a good example. We just had, like I said, some unlucky bounces here and there. First game against Toronto coming up. What kind of game can we expect? What obstacles do they present? Yeah, I think they're a talented team. You know, they uh, have a really uh, talented offense. Um, their defense plays a good scheme for their goaltender. So I think it'll be a great challenge and it'll really show what, what our team is made of tomorrow. And do you, can you take a positive from playing back-to-back -back games? I know it doesn't happen often, but to get right back out on the floor tomorrow? Yeah, I, the, I think the positive is that you don't have to wait a whole week to, you know, come up, come back and uh, try and, you know, get revenge for the loss we just had. We've had five, four or five bye weeks in the last, you know, nine weeks. It's hard to get a rhythm. It's it's really hard. So, and I'm not saying that as an excuse, not never, but, you know, when now that we're getting some games strung together it, and we're together a little bit more, I think it's going to be really positive for us.